Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Finding Your Perfect Camper. Dan here and I'm pumped about this week's because I think the request that came in is gonna fit a lot of people's requests. This week's request came in from Adam H. They've got a family of five. They have a $30,000 budget and they've got a 10,000 pound tow capacity. They're hoping for bunks, an outside kitchen, they're wanting a second entry into the bathroom. So they've probably been watching our videos and they know that we talk a lot about how that's beneficial to cut down on the foot traffic. And they've also asked for U-shaped dinette because of their family size. They plan on taking lots and lots of weekend trips and making some of their yearly vacations into camping vacations. So we're gonna jump right in with this beauty behind me. This is the Hideout 29 DFS. This comes in at 29,999, so we're just a smidge under their budget. We're at 7,070 pound tow capacity. We have the U-shaped dinette that they're looking for. We have the outside kitchen they're looking for. We have the bunks they're looking for. What we don't have in this one is that second entry into the bathroom. But, again, checks a lot of the boxes. So let's just take a look. So you notice on the outside, it is a really clean camper really really sharp they've updated all the graphics this last year we've got a nice big powered awning with led lights on it we have outside speakers so you can jam out while you're sitting out by the campfire we have a tv hookup out here we're getting close to football season maybe you want to kick it out here and watch some football with the family you've got that powered tongue jack up at the front we have powered stabilizer jacks which makes things nice and easy a nice big pass-through storage. You can fit everything you need to in there. If it won't fit in there, you don't need it anyway. This is our second entry. Unfortunately, it's not to the bathroom, it's to the bedroom. But you do have a second entry into the unit. But we're actually gonna go back and start at the back entry. We'll cover the outside kitchen real quick. You've got a small refrigerator out here, which is more than capable of handling some light snacks plenty of beverages for mom dad and the kiddos and again like i said at the beginning of the video helping cut down on that foot traffic running in and out of the camper on the back nothing super fancy back here you've got your spare tire you can pop in a backup slash rear observation camera in here all right let's go take a look on the inside so here we are on the inside and directly to my right, we've got those bunks that we were talking about. These are double over double bunks. They're rated at 300 pounds a piece. The bottom bunk is the luxurious bunk because you've got the window. You do have storage underneath that bunk also. We're going to go ahead and cover the bathroom while we're here. You have your tub shower combo toilet and then your sink. You have storage under your sink as well is a nice big hefty medicine cabinet to keep everything in. As we come out of the main unit, you do have some storage right here off to the side. So you've got additional storage area. You have your jackknife sofa that I love the material on this, but you've got a jackknife sofa. So that's going to turn into a bed. If you don't sleep enough on your bunks, you've got some additional room here. You asked for that U-shaped dinette, I got you the U-shaped dinette. This is a really big U-shaped dinette and it will also turn into a bed. So you do have a ton of sleeping options in this coach. Directly in front of our seating area, we've got our entertainment area. Nice big TV. We have our Bluetooth stereo. And this unit actually features a fireplace in it, which those are great. They're electric, you're not using your propane. They're great for early season camping, late season camping. They just get nice and cozy. This one I do believe also has a little hidden feature here where you can keep uh, dried goods if you need or pillows, blankets, board games, outside games, you name it, you can keep it back there. Our kitchen area, nice size kitchen area. We have our stainless steel sink, or we have our stainless steel refrigerator. It's not a sink. Lots of storage in there. We have our three burner stove. We also have our microwave. And one of the cool things, one of the salespeople pointed out to me on the stove, if you notice, you've got your cool LED lights. You can turn those off if you want. But if somebody accidentally bumps or leaves a burner on, if I get a hold of it, it will actually glow red, even if you have your LEDs, LED lights off. So that's pretty cool. So again, Nice big kitchen counter area, lots and lots of storage. 
You have a big, deep stainless steel sink. I also want to point out why we're here, this little guy. This is great, especially when you're talking a family of five. You don't have to bring your broom, your dustpan, any of that crap with you. You leave it at home, you hook up your hose, you sweep the camper out, you put the hose up, you're done. So super nice feature there. Our bedroom, we're gonna feature a queen size bed. We do have the his and hers closets on both sides as well as some small nightstands and you do have power. So phone charging, CPAP machines, tablet charging, whatever you need to do there, you're good. Directly to my side, we do have a wall mount for a TV, so you can put a swivel mount up here and watch TV from the bedroom. And then last but certainly not least, you do have some additional closet space right there on the side. And as you'll see, you can actually close the barn door off and get some privacy back here in the bedroom if you want. Okay guys, let's go jump over to camper number two. How's that? Now we're at camper number two, another hideout. Like I said at the beginning of the video, they're great family campers. I don't call them entry level, but they're on the lower price side, but they're still packed full of amenities and things people love. This one is the Hideout 318 BR, the BR's bunk room. So I've upgraded you on that first camper, we had bunks. This one's actually gonna have its own bunk room. So the kids are gonna have some privacy. This one comes in on a little bit over your budget at 31,985. 7,760 pounds, so we're still well under that 10,000 pound tow capacity. Like I said, we have a bunk house. We do have a second entry in this camper and we do have an outside kitchen. So let's take a look. So as you see from the outside, very similar to the other camper as far as looks. You do still have the powered tongue jack. You have the powered stabilizer jacks. You still have that nice big pass-through storage up here at the front. You're still gonna get the nice big powered awning with the LED lights, outside speakers, as well as your TV hookup, just like in the other camper. This one though is gonna feature a much bigger outside kitchen. So as you see, you're gaining uh, space in your refrigerator. You're getting a sink out here so you can make the kids wash their dirty hands and stuff before they come in and you're getting some additional storage options out here so you can actually keep quite a bit of cooking stuff or napkins, all that good stuff out here. On the back, basically same thing as the other one, but you're missing the spare tire on this one, but as far as overall, it looks the same. And we'll talk about this from the inside, but here's that second entry to the bathroom. So again, a big plus here, you're gaining the Massive outside kitchen and you're gaining the second entry to the bathroom. Let's go in and check this one out. We're starting here in the back of this camper, which is that bunk room that we were talking about. So as you'll notice, I have a bunk right behind me. I've got a bunk here to the side. Right over here, I've got another bunk. And your couch style futon will actually sleep a person as well. You also have a place for a TV, gaming system and stuff back here, some storage down below, and a closet and some additional storage there. So like I was saying, the cool thing about this, as the kids get older, they're gonna want more privacy. This offers more privacy because they have their own door that they can pull out close, but you can also take adults and stuff with you, in-laws, friends, whatever you want, because they have their own private area in this. As we back up, that bathroom that I was showing you a little bit from the outside is right here. Let me open this door, get some more light in here. So as you see, we have that tub shower combo again. We've got our sink with storage below the sink. No medicine cabinet in this one. Toilet. And then we've got a place here to store stuff if you'd like. I also want to point out real quick why we're here. Let's skip over it sometimes. You'll notice the pink stuff in the tub and in the sink. That's because when a unit is manufactured early in the season, it's winterized at the factory. What happens is, is if you guys came and bought this today, you wouldn't pick it up today. You would schedule a time to pick it up. It would get taken over to our PDI department, pre-delivery inspection. They would go through every ounce of this camper and make sure everything was perfect. Appliances were good. Um, corner pieces, everything. And then on your pickup day, you actually get a full orientation to learn everything about the unit. And if it's camping season time, it'll be all flushed out of the winterization chemical and you can literally drive from picking it up straight to the campground. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. You have a little bit more storage here. 
right outside that bunk room. Now we did lose the U, yeah, lose the U-shaped dinette. We've got a standard dinette here that will turn into a bed, but what you've lost here, you've really gained in that bunk room. We have our jackknife sofa that's gonna turn into a bed. Then our kitchen area, we have that stainless steel refrigerator, still a very nice sized refrigerator. We've got a three burner stove again, microwave, and quite a bit of kitchen countertop space with storage above as well as below. And you do still have that central vac system. Directly in front of me is where your entertainment area is gonna go. So you can mount a really big TV there. You still have that fireplace and that Bluetooth stereo. And then our bedroom has dual entry. We've got our queen sized bed. We've got our his and hers closet. We do still have our nightstands. This nightstand over here, you can stay there, girl, I'll just show it. it lifts up and you actually use that as a laundry chute so you can hide all your dirty laundry. And then directly behind Greer is a mount on the wall for our TV here in the bedroom. So as you can see, a lot of similarities to that other camper, but what you've lost in dinette space, you've gained in bunk space and got a much bigger outside kitchen. Now let's jump over to our last unit. Here we are at our last unit. And I went over your budget a little bit, but for good reason. So this one is the Puma 32 RBFQ. We're coming in at 38,975. So I'm 8,975 over your budget. I'm on the higher side of your tow capacity at around 8,900 pounds. But I've given you the bunkhouse. I've got the U-shaped dinette. I've got the outside kitchen and something you guys didn't think about. This one's got washer dryer hookup. You guys got a family of five, you're talking about taking vacations and stuff. What's better than being able to do your laundry right in the camper? I used to have a Puma, it was a 32 RKTS. We took it on vacations and stuff. The washer and dryer was fantastic in it. Now, this one's gonna be completely different from the hideouts, let's take a look. Puma, like a lot of the other manufacturers, has updated their exterior, looking really, really sharp. A lot of white, clean, super good looking. You're still getting your powered ton jack. You're still getting your powered stabilizer jacks. This is actually a closet on the inside. And there's your washer dryer hookup. You do have, let's pop around here real quick, Greg. You do have some storage access here that's under the bed storage, as well as a couple of smaller storage things on the back. On the outside here, we've got an even bigger powered awning, still LED lights and stuff. We still have our outside speakers. We still have our TV hookup. Check this outside kitchen out. Bam! So, we've gained that big refrigerator again. We now have a microwave out here, plus our sink, plus storage, plus our cooktop. So we've gained a lot in our outside kitchen. Here on the back, we have our spare tire. We actually have a ladder on this unit, so it's a fully walkable roof, gonna make it super easy for you to get up there and clean, maintain, check your slide outs, all that good stuff. And, this one is already backup rear observation camera prep. All you have to do is pop that little piece out, pop your rear observation camera, backup camera in there, you're good to go. Let's go check out the inside. Starting out in the bunk room again, or the bunk house, you can see a lot of similarities to that hideout. We actually have a full futon style couch in this one instead of that foamy one. Uh, it's in its down position right now, but that'll turn into a couch during the day. We've got our fold up bunk here, We've got a bunk right over here. So we lost one bunk in this unit. Still a place for the TV. You still have storage for the kiddos. And I mean, you could put your TV, your video games, whatever you wanted in there. Our bathroom is right here. So as you see, you've got a Neo angled shower. You've got your sink with storage below the sink, medicine cabinet, Toilet, of course. I've brought back the U-shaped dinette. 
I didn't get your second entry into the bathroom on this one, but I got your U-shaped dinette. So, if we're looking at all three, the first one, bunks. Second one, bunk house. But we lost our U-shaped dinette. Third one, I've given you the bunk house and kept the U-shaped dinette. So, more space for eating, more space for the kiddos all in round. Kitchen area. Love what the Puma, what Puma brand has done where they went lighter and brighter. They went with these really sharp cabinets. We've got our refrigerator, stainless steel, nice big refrigerator freezer. Still got that three burner stove. This one is stainless steel. We've got our three uh, microwave, which is also stainless steel. Kitchen countertop area with a stainless steel sink. And as you see, a lot of storage options. We have our jackknife sofa, so that's going to turn into a bed, and that does have storage up above it. And then we've got our entertainment area, so we've got our TV, our Bluetooth sound bar, and we still have a fireplace in this unit, which is pretty cool. So last but certainly not least, the bedroom. You're certainly gaining the most bedroom space for mom and dad in this unit. It's very similar to what I had in my 32 RKTS. The bedroom is on a slide. So you see you've got all this additional space here. You've got storage underneath the bed, which I showed you from the outside. You have a very big closet for keeping everything. You have that additional closet that I was showing you from the outside that does have the washer dryer hookup. So you can use it for a normal utility closet or washer and dryer, or actually a mix of both. And then you've got a bank of drawers right here with your TV backer here, so you can have a TV back here in the bedroom. You can also install a second AC unit in this camper if you want, given the size of it and stuff, not a bad idea. So there you have it, another episode of Finding Your RV. Guys, if you enjoyed the episode and you'd like us to find your RV, I've got a link in the description. Click it, fill out the form. There's no personal information required whatsoever. You just tell us a little bit about your budget, your tow vehicle, what you're planning on doing with your camper. Every Saturday, we're posting a new video, so it'll be your chance to be featured. As always, have a fantastic weekend, and thanks for watching.